I'm happy you picked up. I'm I'm happy we're here. I'm happy. Can we get all the team in, please? I just we have we need this is this is an this is an emergency call. Uh, we yeah, get everybody in here. Hey y'all, this is people from Columbia. How are you? Hey Sony, how are you? I'm happy everybody. Management, good, 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 good. Hi Sean, how are you? Normani, how are you? I know. This has been a crazy 24 hours. I wanted to assemble a Skype call because I feel like we need to get down to the bottom of it. At this point, this is damage control and it's too, and it's gotten out of hand on social media. You know, I feel like it's taken a, a life of its own. So I think we all need to come together and let's talk. I know all of this backlash and everyone's comments at one time could be very overwhelming. Everyone's opinion, but pretty much compacted into a nice message so we can figure something out. So the next time you step out on stage or step out in general, it's, it is ain't no problem. We good, you know what I mean? So here's the thing. The performance yesterday, no, we cannot have that happen again. <laughs> like. Uh-uh. If someone on the team is not aware of what I'm talking about, just if you've been living under a rock, I'll share my screen here. Uh... That's not gonna fly. I wanna talk to the audio engineer. Who, are you, is, is the audio engineer that was there present? No? Well, we need to fire them ASAP. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. A lot of our favorite artists use pre-recorded tracks, uh, they lip sync, they use background singers, something to cover up, right? I know that sometimes you usually use a pre-recorded track, which is just fine. I mean, some of the greats did it too. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what, I don't know, maybe the audio engineer didn't turn up the right parts, turn down the right parts. I, your mic was 100% live through the whole performance, which was not the tea. Before I emailed everybody, I got a list together of some things that we need to do as a team to make sure, one, this doesn't happen again, but two, to clean up this mess. One thing you don't need, Normani, is for you to look like the girl that can't sing but can just dance, and it's like, oh, well, cute. So all the hype around her was for nothing. We don't need that, because we need all the hype all the publicity, not the bad one though, not this one. We need all eyes on you. But it has to start with my first point and this is one of my major points with you and this whole team in here. We need new music ASAP. There's no excuse at this point. I feel like we're at a point if you need to go to the studio and say Humpty Dumpty sat on a damn wall, you need to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what message you wanna sing, I don't know why is so much delay and why is such a big six, six month gap between motivation, seven months now, seven month gap for motivation and Diamonds is a Girl's Best Friend, which is not even your song, it's a collaboration, but it's for a movie, so it's not really a song song. Oh, there's so many things I can talk about this performance, there's so many things, but mainly one, I don't know why we're performing Diamonds is a Girl's Best Friend, like full out to the point where we're performing Megan's verse too, uh-uh, mm-mm, no, who? in this room thought that would be okay. Who? Cause that was not cute. Normani is her own girl. She's a star her own. We don't need, mm -mm. Mm -mm. That song should have been no longer than a minute long performance. You know how Beyonce performed Feeling Myself? Just like that. Just like that. It should have been one, two, three, one, two, three. Diamonds is the girl best friend, da, 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 da. I don't need you. I got diamonds and baguettes, pow, pow. And where was the arrangements in it? Another thing I thought of, team, Normani, I know, I know you're frustrated. Normani, please don't. Don't shut down. Just listen to me. This is a safe space. <laughs> I heard you talk to Dr. Tired Ass last week. I hope that session was good. This is still a safe space. We're not, you know, we're, this is all a safe space. I thought of another thing you possibly could do, Normani, to maybe soften the blow of all of this. You need to release a video of you singing, acoustically. Mm-hmm, acoustically. It could be a quick, no, I don't want to be quick. No, because we need to prove a point at this point. Because people are talking like, people are talking about you as if you don't even deserve to be here. So, an Instagram video, an IGTV video. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. IGTV video. You singing your ass off. You know what I mean? And I know you're not a rifter runner and all that, but I know you can hold a tune. And we heard it on the harmonies of motivation, at least. So, 
If you can do all that, you need to showcase that second talent at this point. Because your next live performance, if you come out doing a pre-recorded track, which like I said, there's nothing wrong with, but if you're gonna come out doing a pre-recorded track, we're not gonna believe it's sellable anymore because now you got evidence, thanks to the sound engineer, no shade, you got evidence that you're barely singing under this track. You know what I mean? People are gonna go back to that video all the time now, unfortunately. So you need to come out with an acoustic video, you singing live on IGTV, and it needs to be like two or three minutes long, like a full song. You did something like this on the Sweetener World Tour when you opened up for Ariana, but even more acoustic than that. When you did Rihanna, the covers for Rihanna, even more acoustic than that. You need to have a time where you sit down and you sing something hopefully original, and it needs to show you and your vocal agility off. A phenomenal dancer, but now the singing part is looking like luster. That's not gonna be, that's not gonna fly if we're gonna take this to the next level. The energy that you have on stage too feels like you don't wanna be on stage sometimes. I don't know if that's because you're nervous, which is completely fine. I don't know if it's because you're nervous, I don't know if it's because you're in your head while you're performing. It just feels though to me that sometimes you perform as if you're still in rehearsal. Listen to me. There's a difference between performing and doing the show. It's a difference. Doing the gig is what you did in the rehearsal room. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. You know, that's doing the gig. That you came to do the gig, I need my check, and I'm parlaying. But baby, a performance is you on stage, you're, this is a moment for you. You're feeling the gig. I'm in the gig. I am the gig. You know what I mean? And I just, I don't feel sometimes, sometimes, not all, sometimes I feel though you just get on stage and you just do the gig that, you know, you and Sean and the girls have done in the room. And y'all ate it up. Y'all had a wonderful rehearsal. And this is what we're giving on stage. That's not, mm -mm. Maybe I hold too of a high expectation for you as a fan, but like, no. The Lakers outfits were so cute, so, so cute. Performance was like, eh, okay. The dancers did marvelous though, love the dancers. I don't want you to get too in your head about all of this because everybody has bad days, Romani. You know, you are human first. You are an artist, but you are human first, girl. And baby, there be times I, wanna get on, I don't want to get on this Skype camera. I don't want to get in front of these lights. It's times. There are times. I understand. When you are living and your job is to please the public, it's hard. You know? And we have our bad days. However, comma, Miss Girl, it's all about how you bounce back. All this hiding. No matter you're good for doing something happens or something around you and you just dip. You be like, girl, dip set. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. You don't have, in my mind, and I'm just being honest, I'm just friend, uh, this, you my friend in my mind. I live for you and I don't want to see you get ate up. And I don't, you don't have it yet to sit back and just let people eat you up. You don't, mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-uh. You got to bounce back and it's not clap back. I didn't say clap. <laughs> I didn't say amuse the girls that's talking about you. I said bounce back. And the difference in that is you come back and you show the girls where they got you effed up at. You know what I mean? You come back harder, stronger, better, faster, stronger. I said stronger a couple times, so I really mean it. You have to come and bounce back. Be like another couple of weeks after this and there's nothing happening. No. No, 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 no. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. And then people are gonna be like, who? No money, what? What happened with her? Oh, well, yeah, remember when her mic and stuff and she couldn't sing at the AT&T event? That's what people gonna think about. Because you haven't came out yet. You know what I mean? And I'm still hurt as a fan. I'm still going through it with motivation and how motivation came and was supposed to be that thing. It was supposed to be the thing that launched everything. But girl, it said, It did. It just did. I'm being honest. And we want to see you grow. We want to see you be big. We want to see you be the biggest star. But you gotta do the work, boo. <laughs> you gotta do the work. If you want, if you want to be, let me ask you that first. Everybody in the room, how you doing? Jeff, sit down, there's no more coffee over there. What I'm telling you, if you want to be, if you want to be the next entertainer up, You've got to bring something to the table, baby. You just being the chocolate girl that we all stand for is only going to take you so far. 
Can we talk about it? We still don't know who you are, by the way. I hope you know that. And this is about, I follow you, I live for you. I still don't know who you are as a person. I moved to LA in 2017, and I've been really heavily following you since then. Since you did the covers and the Dancing with the Stars. And I, I know she's a phenomenal dancer. I know she's pretty. What is, I don't know what you're talking about through your music because we I, I don't have nothing to get to know you through. None of us do. Can we be honest here? So when you come into a performance like that, <laughs> okay, oh, oh, Sean, I love you. Love your work. You're iconic. You are literally iconic. But I wanted <laughs> to bring you to this meeting because I don't know whose idea it was to have the beautiful ladies on stage with Normani to perform a conga line for like seven minutes straight. It felt like, probably not even that long, I'm probably over exaggerating, but it felt too long. It felt too long. I don't know why we did this whole Normani stand to the side of the stage by the DJ booth and then the rest of the gorgeous ladies come forward and they shake, 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 shake. Now, I do understand having like a moment for your dancers. Of course, you're supposed to. They're performers. They need to have their time. Yeah. What? She was on the curtain about the lead stage. She was not by the DJ booth. She was on the, sure? She was by the curtain about the lead stage. She was not by the DJ booth. That was the DJ booth. That was the curtain. <laughs> was that the curtain? She was getting ready to leave. Was she supposed to leave off the stage? Yeah. She was standing in the curtain like this. Yeah, I remember. And then she was clapping and then she just stopped moving after a while. It was the curtain. This is why I'm asking you, Sean. Who's, I, I know, but see, this is what frustrates me though. It's because you don't have a catalog of music to perform a 25 to 30 minute set. So here we are dancing for you, which are dances for like five minutes straight. And you on the side and then you come back in like you were just not standing on to the side like that. That, that's, no! In my mind, I guess maybe in my heart, in my mind, my mind is just more sickening than that. I wouldn't even approve that. I wouldn't even say, yeah, that's cute. Let's do that. No, no, uh-uh. I know I don't have that many songs, but baby, I'm not standing to the side and just let the stage, let my girls take over the stage. No, that's not right. These people came to see you and Megan to perform, right? You on the side of the stage hyping up the girls and they almost took the show from you. Ooh, ooh. could we talk about it? They almost took the show from you because they ate it up and I was living my life and that's when the crowd really got in. I don't like that idea, Sean. I don't live for that. I hope that's, I don't, I hope we don't do that again. We can let that, let that go. I don't know what to put right there. Maybe she needs to sit down and sing. Maybe that, how about that? Instead of letting the girls go up, maybe she could do a couple covers again because we don't have no music. You see where the problem keep coming back to? There ain't no music. How she gonna perform a 30, how she gonna perform a 30 minute set? And there's no music. I don't want you to be just the dance girl like you doing Rihanna Savage Fenty even though that was completely iconic. You didn't even get a chance to sing. Why are you gonna perform motivation there? Or something, you know what I mean? We, I just, we don't see you in the streets, not in the blogs. It's a good thing, but it's a bad thing too, in today's age. It's a good thing we don't see you in the drama, but it's a bad thing because we don't see your name nowhere. It don't have to be drama to be relevant. You don't have to do drama to be relevant, Pooh. You really, like, post dance videos. Um, like I said, the, the acoustic songs. Be on live more. Um, go out, get photographed in the paparazzi. You know, just a little something, something. You know, just do something to keep your name a buzzing. Cause there's a lot of people that don't know who you are until Sam Smith come on the TV or come on the radio and they like, oh, I love her. That's, she sings that? That's her? My baby been out for a couple years now. Solo, we'll leave what, two years now solo? Almost two years at least? And people are still saying, oh my God, that's her? No, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Not with these big features under her belt too. No, we're gonna make you the feature girl. We're gonna just use you when you need somebody to dance. You have to realize for a fan, I know this is frustrating for you and the team, but I feel like the team is not frustrated enough. <laughs> I feel like 
I'm just being honest with you, team. I, I, you're not frustrated enough for me. Because this girl, you have like literally, literally you have a girl that can take it all the way. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a sabotage in the room. But like this is like unacceptable. I'm sorry. Like all of it is unacceptable. The last time GP really got to see you for real, like put the eye on you, was the, was the VMAs. Savage Fenty too, but the VMAs were like the last thing to really see you. And that was almost seven months ago, Normani. You haven't had a song besides Diamond's Best Friend, that's a soundtrack song. You haven't had anything to grasp our attention in the past seven months. Let that sink in. That's crazy! And you're signed to a major label? If my girl Tinashe can do her stuff independently and make it look good too, and it's good, what's going on? What's going on? And I found it even funnier that you were opening for Megan Thee Stallion and you've been out longer than her. Can we talk about it? I found it quite funny. I was like, I was kind of shocked that we love hot girl Meg. She is one of the good homegirls. But like, you've been out longer. But Megan has accumulated a lot more success well, those months that you've been not doing anything, though. This is not a competition. I'm not saying this is a versus situ- This is not a you versus Megan situation at all. You versus anybody, actually. What I'm saying is, the principle is, you've been out longer, which means you should have had more content out. Which you could have not- Which you could have been a, a awesome- I mean, you both were headlining, but you went out first. So you kind of like opened for Megan. And you asked at the end of the performance, y'all want to see Megan? Honestly, me too. That's what you said! You said it! You said it, not me! No! And then you left stage without saying, once again, my name is Normani. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Give it up for my, you're not like, give me a, give me an outro. All you said was, my dance is gone, y'all. Ha ha ha. Thank y'all so much. Thanks. All right, y'all. Bye. I almost threw my TV off, and I got a huge TV on the wall. I almost threw it off the wall. I said, I cannot believe she did this. I, like, I was like, heartbroken. To be honest with you, Normani, you only got so long where people won't even care anymore. And I don't want to see that happen to you because you're so talented. But like, <sighs> it's only so long you sit up here and lollygag, people will move on. People will move on, you know? And I don't want to see that happen to you because you're so talented and you're so great. And I think you can be a really good entertainer. And I think you could be an iconic entertainer. But, Maybe, I don't know if we need to change anybody up in the team. Cause team, I don't feel like you're pressing the issue here. Once again, it's been seven months since motivation. Almost eight. I love you, Normani. I love you, Sean. I love, I don't know the team, but I love you too. And I know that Sean, I know you believe in this girl. I know you do. And I know we, I know, cause we both want to see her win. And I don't want to, I want to keep you as a choreographer cause you don't, don't get rid of Sean, please. I know you won't, but just don't, mm -mm, he the one. And it's hurting my heart because I've been following because I see, I see how big you could be. I really do, Normani. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You really are a star. And it breaks my heart to see you go down like this. Don't let this, don't let this, don't let this beat you up. You can really come back and make something sickening. And you can make something sickening of yourself. Make these girls eat it this year. Because that performance, blasphemy. Team, I adjourn. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. I'm getting out of here. Normani, I love you. See you soon, girl.